We are making a Sip and Puff straw adapted KN95 mask. Um, we'll start with an unmodified mask, um, just straight out the box, KN95. And the first step is to measure out your hole punch location. So for most people, from the top arc down, um, two inches works really well. You could up that by an eighth of an inch or lower it by an eighth, but usually two is good. Um, so that's right here. And then from the front arc of the mask, um, you'd measure around one inch works best for most. It could be seven eighths or nine eighths, but two inches down, one inch away from the front arc works best. Mark that with either a pen, pencil, or your thumb. So that's where I'm going to punch the hole. Um, the next thing is, so you have this grommet setting tool that you can get online. It comes with your top and bottom half of your grommets, um, the mandrel setting die, and your hole punch tool, which is black with a silver sharp edge. Um, this is what we use to punch the hole, is the black tool. So, I'm using an eraser, but all you need is a firm, durable surface that yields a little bit. Some people can use, can use cardboard boxes, a heating mat, um, anything that is handheld, durable, and yielding. So I'm going to take that surface, an eraser in my case, hold it on the inside of the mask. It's used to protect your fingers from getting cut by the sharp edge. Then where you've marked your ideal hole punch location, center the sharp edge of your hole punch tool around that and then press firmly and just twist. So that's what I'll do now. Okay, so hole is punched. Cool. The front looks like that. Inside looks like that. So you can put set this tool aside. The next thing you'll do is align your grommets. So I'm taking out a top half grommet right now. It has a rounded front and a really small cylindrical back edge to it. That's going to be the front facing side of the mask, so you'll see it on this side. You want to align that with the rounded side down onto your setting die. It's a short metal cylinder. So align it like that. Face that down. Then you'll take the front side of the mask where you've punched your hole, and you'll align the hole around the top of the grommet that's sitting on top of your short metal setting die. I can chill there for now. Now I'm getting a bottom half of the grommet. It's going to be on the inside of your mask. So you'll take the bottom grommet eyelet. It's a small um, cylindrical disc. It does not have that um, straight cylinder sticking out. It's just a flat disc. It has a slightly flatter edge and a slightly rounder ed rounded edge. You want the rounded edge to be facing this long metal cylinder tool. So face that down and then you have your where you've aligned the top grommet on the setting die the mask hole around that. Bottom grommet eyelet. And then long metal setting tool. And then you'll hammer that entire assembly down. Done. I'm 
kind of hammered a little too hard. Alright, so that's the set grommet. That's finished just the front. The inside of the mask looks like that. The last step is to insert your silicone straw hold grommet with an attachable plug. So you can get these online. They come in 40 um, per pack for around $9. So what you want to do is make sure that from the outset of your mask, this plug is closing the mask. The easiest way to do that is to take the plug and from the inside align the plug so that the attachable line part of it is parallel with your mask top and bottom or the line on your KN95. Once you have that plug aligned, insert the silicone within the metal grommet. And then make sure that the silicone on both sides is hugging each side of the set metal grommet and the mask. Um, so that's done. This is what the finished mask will look like with the plug open. Um, front, inside. And this is what the sip and puff mask will look like when plugged. And that is your finished sip and puff straw modified KN95 mask.